Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your PDA education and uh, you know your PDA is the uh, most authentic and dedicated platform for preparation of interviews, GD, GTs, etc. for various exams. So, BARC is uh, I will say fa father of or mother of interviews, uh, BARC interview is the mother of interviews, you know, detail question puste hain aur bohat time tumhe dete hain, they check in depth about your knowledge. And as you know nowadays uh, BARC interviews are going on, so students give the feedback. I want to share with you really good question in BARC. This was the question given. Question is, a tube hai aur wo tube a axis ke about rotate kar rahi hai. There is a tube which is rotating about one axis at omega radian per second. There is a tube which contains a liquid of specific weight rho g. There is a tube which contains a liquid or fluid of specific weight rho g and the tube is rotating about one axis. Now, there is a ball in that tube, there is a ball in that particular tube and that ball has a density rho b which is less than rho of liquid. There is a ball inside the tube of density rho b and the tube is rotating which direction this ball will move? Question was which direction which direction will the ball move? लेकिन अगर मैं यही question पूछूं तब तो ये तुम्हारा SDO J के जो exam होता है छोटे छोटे exam उसका question बन गया आप बोलोगे sir left side, right side, upward, downward कुछ answer कर दोगे it does not move because it was a BARC interview, they asked them why also. Why? Explain which direction this ball is going to move and why. Think it up. Roko jara video ko socho what answer you will give. Because in BARC you are not in hurry, right? You are not in hurry to answer the questions. So, answer how you will analyze this particular situation. This is a tube containing the liquid of specific weight rho g. And this tube is rotating about one of the axes and there is a ball inside tube and the tube is rotating. The ball kis taraf jayega? That is a question. What answer will you give? How will you answer this? <clears throat> now, let me tell you the solution to this. Let me give you this situation once again. This is a tube and let us assume there is a fluid element of length delta x and let us say of area of cross section A. So, fluid element I took, fluid element I took of cross section area A length is dx and hence what is the volume? Volume is A D X that is the volume. Now what is the density of the fluid element? Density is nothing but density of the liquid that is rho because it is rho G was the specific weight. Now it is rotating about one of the axes. Will there be any force acting on this fluid element? Will there be any force acting on this fluid element? Imagine whenever you are in rotational frame of reference, a force acts on you. I am giving you a ball and giving you a string. I have given a ball diya aur ek string diya aur ye ball is string se it is rotating like this. Any idea what is the force acting on this ball of mass m? Aap bologe, sir, m a c. What is a c? centripetal acceleration centripetal yeah centrifugal acceleration that acceleration which comes into picture by virtue of change in direction the acceleration which exists because of change in direction is called centripetal acceleration reaction to that is centrifugal acceleration so this is centripetal or centrifugal acceleration so ye force will be acting on this mass and eventually that is going to give you tension so t is equal to m ac jo hum karte the एक स्ट्रिंग लिया मास लिया उसको ऐसे रोटेट किया 
same thing is this fluid element now I'm taking and I'm saying what is the force acting on that so the force acting on this fluid element if I consider will be m into ac something like this but what is m sir density into volume into ac any idea what is ac ac is v square by r or r omega square this is omega this is radial distance so v is equal to r omega tangential velocity so it must be rotating at tangential velocity v so acceleration centripetal acceleration is r omega square but what is r here this fluid element is at distance x from the axis of rotation so this particular ac is x omega square okay done this is the force acting on this fluid element of length dx let's call it df rho a dx into x omega square what is the pressure Acting at, acting at this fluid element we, because it's a fluid we talk about pressure what is the pressure acting there force per unit area okay rho omega square x dx can I write like this divided by area rho omega square x dx now let's find out what is the force acting sorry pressure existing if the entire fluid I consider till length x I have taken only fluid element of this small length dx suppose I take the fluid element of entire length which actually is the case then what is the pressure acting at x so pressure acting at x is nothing but dpx integrated 0 to x because here there will be no pressure because even if whatever pressure p naught so I am saying that is a p naught pressure any initial pressure but not because of rotation as I keep on increasing x pressure keeps on increasing something like this so this will be rho omega square x square by 2 if you integrate this is what you get so let me go to next page now I give you a tube in which there is a liquid of specific weight rho and I take give you 1.1 1 .1, which is a distance x from the axis of rotation and the tube is rotating with angular velocity omega so what is the pressure now what is pressure at 1 is whatever is pressure at this center plus half of rho omega square x square this is what we got half of rho omega square x square this is the pressure acting at this point now let us say I give you point 2 also let us say this is x1 this is x2 this is x2 so can you tell me what is p2 now P naught plus half of rho omega square x2 square which one is more sir P2 is more than P1 I think we have almost reached our answer now we have almost reached our answer now the question given to us was there is a tube which is having liquid of particular specific weight and there is a ball inside the tube the density of the ball is less than the density of the liquid now which direction this ball will move so our concept is made centrifugal force ball will go out of the way this way will pressure this way will pressure P1 P2 since P2 is more than P1 ball drifts leftward ball drifts leftwards that is the that will be the answer to this particular question now let me ask you a question and leave this here BRC ke interview ke question bahut achhe hote hain they are really good you need to think research related domain hai to science mein se question poochta hai ye basic science fluid mechanics mein job karte ho wahan ka question tha and uh, why he gave you density less than density of liquid i have two questions which i leave for you answer it if density of ball is more than density of liquid then 
what your answer will change second question what about what about centrifugal force acting on ball acting on ball that means when i'm giving you this ball i only gave you pressure acting on the ball something like p2 and p1 i did not talk about centrifugal force mass of the ball into acceleration of the ball centrifugal force to bahar ki taraf ko lagi why you did not consider it think of these two questions and try to type answer in the comment section let's see what answer you give all the best thank you